Ladies and gents, welcome to the UX, and this is one in a million moments in sports history. While the channel trend wave. Yes, I like to do more of a, you know, I guess, uh, more of a meme and famous moment from the YouTube. Usually, I'm uh, preoccupied with history videos, right? But I'm like, what? The, why the hell not? Let's do it. So yeah. Remember, if you like my reaction, don't forget to like and subscribe. So I know which type of videos to react to more. I guess uh, check out the reaction today. There's a link in the description. Check out the cars for different places. Then cars in yeah. Let's watch it. Damn. Ooh. That went really higher as well, so that could have easily been one of the most effed up moment in uh, football history, soccer history. Because if that if that didn't go in, everybody's like, "Oh, what a show off! He screwed it up." But obviously, it went in. Whoa! Hi, hi! Is he jumping, man? Damn, this puts into perspective. Oh, he's not even putting effort into it. He's not even putting effort into it. I mean, not in effort as in, you know, you think normally. Look at that. He's just using his calf as his main force. Rather than actually, you know, doing half squat or something just to get momentum up. Look at that. He's just like a horse. <laughs> his calf must be really strong. Look at that. Whoa. Different receivers. Elliot. They go. Hurdle. Bucks out of the 20. Loses his balance, but he doesn't go low. He's standing up and still got him. Jumped up for David, and no one contact is coming. Whoa, he glided up. Nothing but the bottom of his tailbone hit his helmet. It is Rod Smith. He just went all Matrix. <laughs> Wilson, Contreras, Easter Egg Hunt, Whatever. Oh, oh, right <laughs> it went into his pocket. <laughs> oh, that was perfection. Oh, it got stuck into his stick. Right, and he just went all fucking Spartan there, just throwing it as a spear. Goal. <laughs> Does that even work, or was that a foul or something? Oh. I remember this, Djokovic, yeah. I remember this as well, uh, I guess a decade ago or something, I don't know. Oh! She did a split to save, uh, save this, basically. Badminton. So every time, you know, people, uh, you find doing splits and something, and people are like, why do this stunts, right? How is this going to be applicable in real physical world? Now C has the answer. There you go. This is why I do splits and things. Not, not just for mobility and feeling loose. No, no, no. It actually works here. Oh, God. Oh, by the end. End of the marathon. Oh shit. Oh. That was so good, man. The guy was about to faint in the last part of marathon. That would have been so bad, right? He would have been, I guess, you know, he, he, he would have looked that back if he had failed there. Like, holy shit. Literally at the end. But obviously his mate saved him. <laughs> that was awesome. 
the head, it bounced from their heads. Oh ho ho. What happened? Oh, that was so good. Last moment thing. <laughs> oh, poor bike. <laughs> People see this like, look at that, how awesome movement it is. He's literally surfing on a crashing bike. I see that and like, oh man, that bike, the bike is ruined. Oh no, he went over. <laughs> Look at their faces. Oh no, oh no. And he still saved it. Oh, this is incredible. I thought it was going in. What? Whoa! Oh hell no, that is the most incredible of them all. Even in the milliseconds, they were exactly right, exactly right. Both are 0.86, that is ridiculous. Well, judgment of taste is everything on this shot. A little bit of a soft screw shot. What was that? Whoa! It flew! <laughs> Damn, that heavy ass of muscle car flew! Oh shit, that is incredible! What?! Oh hell no, is that real? That, that looks real! That deer basically put the ball in knowing what he was doing and then celebrated. So let me get this straight. When people were playing football there, the deer was watching in the woods and actually saw that, remembered that and did that just to mimic them. Oh, that is so good, man. I've never seen something like this. This is so good. Look at that. It's celebrating. Oh my god. <laughs> To him. Slides into a turn and crashes onto the. But his bike takes off with a vengeance. Oh my God! The throttle stuck, I guess. See, that's the thing. The bikes like that, where they drift along the way. They, ma they make their bike in a way that center of gravity is really low and at the center. The lower side of that is something like that. When the throttle gets stuck at the right moment, the when the bike takes off, even without someone riding it, it will basically stay stable because center of gravity is really low at that point. Damn, okay. Oh, the guy got injured during that. What are you doing? No way! These are not really one in a million moments. One in a million uh, makes sense when you know it happens by chance and you can't repeat it. This guy know what he's doing, right? So probably he can do it again if he wanted to. He's that precise. Uh, 
Oh god, that's just sad for the goalkeeper, man. That's just sad. Six of 16 from the floor. Goalkeeper was his goalkeeper. <laughs> and the pull-up jumper around. <laughs> oh my god. That's like teasing. <laughs> oh, is it? No, no, it's not. Oh, it's in. Oh no, it's not. Maybe in. And uh, nope. Okay, it's in. What the hell are you doing? Why? What? To lower the drag? What is he doing? He's lowering the drag or something? How is that working, man? What the hell? He was lowering the drag or something? Oh, that would have been bad, though. American commentators are really if his tongue was out <laughs> Man seriously though that was way too close to his neck man. That could have been gone really bad Well, there you go some of them were really incredible. One thing stuck to me is that deer thing. How is that possible? That particular deer knew what what it was doing, right? It literally put it, the deer literally put the ball inside and started to celebrate. So deer probably saw the people playing football from the distance and came back and did the same. I didn't know deer. I didn't know deer had that kind of a brain to do all that shit. But look at that. I constantly get surprised by wildlife and how, you know, interactive and smart they can be, apparently. But yeah. Well, people, that was awesome. Uh, th this uh, comparison didn't suck. 2 million subscribers, so it's not a surprise. I mean, obviously, the channel is that famous, so comparison has to be great. So all those moments were incredible. Some of them, I don't know, uh, like, uh, you know, American football and basketball. I don't watch that much. Obviously, I have somewhat, uh, you know, general knowledge about it, but not much. So some of the moment probably was way too incredible, right? But uh, to me, I don't know. I'm always like, hmm, does that happen really often or not? Probably not because it's part of one in a million moments. So yeah, it was the corkscrew type of basketball. Uh, you know, he put it inside the hoop like that. People play bas basketball is one of those sports that people do through, I guess, you know, people play to just, you know, show off, right? Because it's that sport. If you know how to, you know, play basketball awesomely, you can show off a lot because people revere basketball like that. So imagine being a professional basketball player and doing shit like that. How cool you would look out, right? You just walk out. That's the guy who did that, you know, corkscrew type of movement and put the ball inside the hoop. Everybody like, yeah, that's the man. <laughs> Alright, people, if you like my Rick's Phone, like, subscribe. Check out the Rick's Sunday. There's a link in the description. Check out the cast for places. Yeah, I'll see you next time.